Hi, I'm Dave Hanley, the co-founder of Banyan Branch and a new YGL for 2012. My background is varied in that I keep stepping in and out of business and into nonprofit. Um, I began my career working with microcredit banks in Latin America and Asia and left that to pursue a role in online media that led me to co-founding uh, one of the largest independent social media agencies in the world. Um, but I still spend time working in uh, international development, uh, spending time on the advisory board of Vitana, uh, an incredible institution that's trying to take micro-lending into the education space in a scalable way, as well as working with a, a YGL initiative on water. Uh, it's great to be with this group. I have much to learn um, and excited about where it's going to take me. The next generation of leaders needs to be more innovative than the generation that came before it, which is a very high standard for us to meet. But with the growth in population that we've seen and the incredible growth in consumption that has come along with it of our resources, of our environmental resources, and of our economic resources as we try to meet these demands, we need to be more innovative and we need to, also as a, as a group of leaders, we need to break down these artificial barriers that we place between business and making the world a better and stronger place. That as we look at the long-term needs of growing healthy and successful businesses, those needs are not divergent from the needs of making the world a better and stronger place. Uh, and so it is incumbent upon us to have that broader vision and to have those longer term goals and always look with a vision of applying our ingenuity not just to creating new products and services but also in applying it in terms of how we can make the world a better, more healthy and stronger place for us all to live in together. This also creates a problem though which is if these young people find barriers, if they find a lack of opportunity, if they cannot control their own destinies because of economic, social, or political constraints, then we will see the greatest unrest that we've ever seen in the history of our world. And it may prove to be cataclysmic among people and organizations that are trying to make the world better, but aren't. So it is incumbent upon the business leaders of the world the political leaders of the world, the social leaders of the world, and the religious leaders of the world to allow this generation to shine and to become who they're meant to be, which is a great and good people. I think it's probably common among YGLs that they look at the list of people and all the great accomplishments and determine Obviously, I'm the one that they made a mistake on. I'm the one that, that perhaps shouldn't have been selected. Uh, but regardless, I'm lucky enough to be here. Uh, as a part of this community, what I bring is my ability to connect people together. That through my background in social media and my desires to connect disparate groups of people together so that they can create together and uh, explore together will probably be the greatest thing that I can give. Uh, that and my passion for, um, uh, for the world and my curiosity of, in basically every subject. Uh, what I hope to get is uh, a set of friendships that will uh, last a long time. Uh, that as I meet people who have been great at what they have done, uh, that perhaps uh, over our careers we can work together to make the world a little better or make a little corner of the world a little, a little better or join in creating and building something together. Uh, I'm hoping that it's, uh, while it's hard for me at my age to look five years out, it seems like such a long time, but during this five year tenure uh, to do some great things but also to join with these people uh, that knowing that for the rest of our lives we'll be knit together through this experience is, is something of great excitement of in and interest to me.